Welcome to my channel guys, my name is James. Today I have another soup for you from Spain. It's something that you may not have heard of before, it's called Salmarejo. It's a very popular soup, not as popular as gazpacho, but it originates from the south of Spain, or more specifically from Cordoba. And if you've never been to the south of Spain or Costa del Sol, I would highly recommend it. As the weather is fantastic year round, they have excellent food, cheap food, and lots and lots of history. Now, gazpacho and samarejo may seem a little similar to you, especially because both have garlic and tomato. That's the base of both of the soups. But gazpacho tends to also have cucumber in it, as well as bell peppers, and sometimes it has bread to thicken the sauce. Whereas salmarejo basically has just tomatoes, bread, as well as a bit of vinegar, a bit of salt, and of course garlic. But the main difference is that San Marejo is a lot heavier, so it's a thicker soup, and gazpacho is a lot more famous, so you're gonna see it everywhere when you visit Spain. So before we get going today, be sure to like my video down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already, and be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have on my YouTube channel. So, let's get started. Now for the method of making salmorejo. This is, like I said, a soup, again, based on tomatoes, so you want to use basically the ripest tomatoes that you have or that you can find because the riper they are the more juice they have the more flavor as well and the better it's going to be typically if you're not going to pass the soup you want to peel so you want to scald the tomatoes by mark the bottoms boil them take them out put them in ice water and peel them however today we're going to be passing this through a chinois and i see this as extra work and it's basically doing something twice so we're not going to do that today then we're going to use some bread now you want to use any white bread that you have any baguette will work if it's stale or if the bread's a little stale you may want to put it in a little bit of water beforehand to soak it so it will incorporate with the soup a little better when we blend it so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this pit out i'm going to take the knife in my hand like this Put my finger here to stop it from going in too far and just cut around the pit very very simple and easy pit comes out tomato goes in done okay now for the garlic we're just going to cut the bottom you want to cut up a little bit and then we're going to crush it okay now if you see this piece right here we're going to cut it down the middle and as you can see here is the germ. It's the inside of the garlic. This is what's going to grow into the plant. And you can take this out if you want. It's said that this takes away a lot of the bite. Now before we start blending the soup, we're going to get a pot of water on and hard boil a few eggs. Once the water comes up to a boil, put it on low heat. We can put a little bit of vinegar in. Then we're going to put the eggs in. First bring it up to a boil, then put the eggs in. Now count 10 minutes and they're done. All right, now we're going to blend. We're going to put some vinegar in first, then a little bit of salt and our garlic. We're gonna blend. Okay, and after about a minute or so of blending, now we're going to add our bread. Close the top and blend again. Okay, now slowly, we're going to add the oil little by little. Okay, now after a few minutes of blending, you can tell that it's thickened quite nice, it's emulsified. You want it more or less this thickness. We're going to make it a little liquidy because it is supposed to be a thick soup, but you can also turn this into a puree if you want, so you just add a little more bread. So once it's at this stage, check it and taste it. And if you need to add a little more vinegar, be sure to add it, or if you want more salt, add it as well. All right, now we're just going to crack the eggs and plate. Now the consistency for Samarejo should be a little thicker than a typical soup, more or less like clam chowder, a thick soup. But it's to your discretion, if you want to add more bread to it to make it thicker, do it. If you want to make it a little more liquidy, add a little bit of water as well, 
to it and if you put too much vinegar in it you can add a little bit of sugar to counteract the acidity and you should be fine. It's a very easy and simple soup that you can use during the summer and if you want to turn it into a puree just put more bread in it to make it a little thicker, pass it through a chinois, and you have a perfect puree that can go with many, many things. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to like the video down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already, and be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have up on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys again very soon.